Hello and welcome to your Astrological Vibrations for Thursday, October 14th, 2021 by Gaia Blooming. I am Mimi. We just had lightning. I don't know if you saw it, but flash right then. And our energy mantra for today is, as I come into balance, I can expand myself into the universe. Thunder. <laughs> so... Um, as I was sitting to do this scope, um, I was smacked in the face by so many phone calls that I've had over this last little bit, uh, reminding me of what I told you all about this, uh, Mercury retrograde, feeling so Venus retrograde -y. Sorry, I have kitten hair and Mimi hair and all kinds of things in my mouth. Um, and as we are in the final days... We literally have, what, four days left of this Mercury retrograde, building to a full moon in Aries next week. I really wanted to bring forth that reminder and some whew, major downloads that came through that just felt like, wow. All right, so <laughs> Venus retrograde really works on relationship stuff. I said that I really felt that Mercury retrograde in Libra was going to bring up relationship stuff, whether it's relationship with yourself, relationships with others, relationship with spirit. And what came through, what was downloaded as I sat here today, uh, was in order to be in balance and harmony with any other relationship in our life, we have to have our primary focus on our relationship that we have with ourselves. If we are not in right relationship with ourselves, that will be reflected in every other relationship we have, even the relationship with the universe, even though the universe knows how to deal with it. <laughs> um, and what also came through is like, wow, this blows my mind, but it's like, yes, integrity is being in right relationship with your soul. Integrity is when you are in solid alignment with your soul with your the soul is the truest self you know it's your true self that is what integrity is and so that's what I'm really feeling over this next week as we build to this full moon as we finish up this mercury retrograde we have mercury at 11 degrees today so it's master level energy <laughs> this is a calling if you are struggling which I had a lot of phone calls and all kinds of things if you're struggling at all with relationship check are you in right relationship with yourself are you in integrity with yourself now we can't really control others but we can always control how we respond we can always control how we personally show up we can always control how we take action how we react and that feels so imperative to connect into at this time so, so check yourself. Are you in integrity? Are you in right relationship with yourself? Are you in right relationship with your soul? And are you guys vibing? <laughs> like you and your soul, are you like, yeah. What is that song? I don't know. It's in my head, but I don't know what it is. Anyway, that came through so strongly. So that's like kind of working our background. Um, by the way, if you're wondering what Biscuit is, Biscuit is so playful right now and is actually hanging out in the bathroom with Joe, running around cutest little body right now I always say this is like the tick body like round belly round head thriving um so thanks for all the biscuit love because I love biscuit uh <laughs> and if you want to see pictures I've been posting them incessantly on my Instagram stories anyway so let's look at Wednesday's energy Wednesday's energy or not Wednesday sorry Thursday's energy has the moon in Aquarius uh, making all the connections through the day. Moon and Aquarius, speaking of vibing, Moon and Aquarius is like, hey, how's your vibe? How is your vibe with yourself? Are you vibing? Like, have you figured it out? I mean, even if we look at Aquarius, Aquarius energy could come down to like, what is my <laughs> relationship with my soul? Like, am I, am I aligning with my vision? Am I aligning with my truest vibration? So as the moon goes through making these connections, your vibe, can tell you, are you in this alignment or are you falling into patterns that we've been taught in the world? This takes responsibility to the next level. Capricorn energy is responsibility. Aquarius is like, you think you've got this? Here, next level. Check your vibes, 
check your um, check your vision and vibration it doesn't mean that you're always like ha ah! vibration is being very aware when there's a thorn when something's off and being able to tend to it being able to show up for yourself and again showing up for yourself right relationship right so uh, we start with the moon conjunct Saturn setting a tone of responsibility and again check your vibes responsibility for the vibes now I will say check yourself as well in and through this energy I do have some some one mental card yeah one strong mental card burden so watch what your mind is saying about anything that's going on is your mind supporting or is your mind replaying old programmings so I'm feeling with that Saturn energy in this there may be some old programmings that are coming up to be released in and through this energy so checking in that will support it moon connecting into Venus yesterday we had Venus and Saturn again it's the Aquarius Sagittarius vibes dream big think big now I have the flowering card it is in reverse but this is my feeling it's like we're blooming into this full moon right full moon in Aries don't be afraid to think big don't be afraid to align with your vision. This reverse is like, we're not quite there yet. We haven't, it's like the lotus flower that has not bloomed. But I love that I also have the no thingness card. No thingness card is a card of pure potentiality, which takes me back to the thunder, full circle. When that thunder rolled, all I could feel in and through myself is one of my favorite mantras, Om Bhavam Namah. I am absolute existence, which is pure potentiality. It is, it is the universe. It is you in the universe. So, Om Bhavam Nama. I am pure potentiality. Think big. <laughs> Align with these dreams. And to be fair, your big dream may seem little to somebody else. Or it may not even seem big to you, but if it excites your soul, work with that. What excites your soul? Venus in Sagittarius wants adventure, it wants fun. And I'm telling you, before that Venus, ugh, Venus Capricorn retrograde, blah, we want to align with that. So, um, Moon connecting to Mercury. Moon connecting to Mercury. I love the combination of Aquarius and Libra. Again, I'm really feeling this right relationship with yourself, but a lot of times being around the right people, people who like light you up, lift you up, can also tune you into that. So today's a day, like reach out to those and that master degree, reach out, but still stay in tune because even the most awesome people can have vibes that don't always jive with you. And that's okay. <laughs> it doesn't make them bad or wrong, but it's like always being able to come back to your personal level of integrity. Finally, Moon squaring Uranus. Um, oof. We got some triggers and I feel very electrical. Take time to ground in. Take time to ground in. This energy, all this electrical energy can be very overstimulating and that also can be very harsh for our vibe. So take the time that you need to check in with yourself. If you are being triggered, what do you need to get back into harmony and right relationship with yourself. I love the harmony card during Libra season. I also have to mention that I do have, um, where is it? Here we go. The letting go card. Uh, emotional energy. While we are not extremely close to this full moon yet, I feel it pulling us in. Full moon in Aries. It is like coming in strong. Um, so there might be some emotional energies to come up and release. And again, going back to the vibrational uh, speech, <laughs> the vibrational portion of tonight's broadcast. Uh, let those energies go. Process. Be be present with them. Allow the feeling. Now I've learned that it's, and I'm trying to put words into it. I'm not there yet, but emotions and feelings are very different things. Allow yourself to sit in the feeling and then align your emotions with how you are called to process it. That's where I'm going to go with that for now. So, uh, as for those who are interested in the Osho class, it's going to take me a little bit to put together. I'm thinking maybe it might be a New Year thing. We'll see. Um, but I'm really excited. I was thinking about tonight. How would I like to format this? Format this. Um, besides that, you can book a reading with me. Email me, mimiclark at gmail.com. And the better it gets, the better it gets. There's more than enough love in the world for you. Have the power. And stay curious. Namaste.